Welcome to 6.4, Downloading and Installing Themes for Instructor-Led and Self-Study Courses. In the last section, we talked about selecting themes that are good for courses where your students are going to be using tablets and smartphones and laptops and desktops. In this one, we're going to talk about the types of courses that have organizations such that you may have either self-study, where you don't have any kind of, of interaction with the instructor, or it could be basically study where it's a group and there's an instructor. And in both cases, it's really a good idea to be able to allow people to interact with each other, with other students, for support. So I'm going to advocate using Aardvark. So we're going to talk about using Aardvark. And notice that we're in the course, and we've gone to Site Administration, Appearance, Themes, and Theme Selector, and we're going to change the theme. So notice that we've looked at Aardvark, and we like it. Is it one of the, the actual in the standard themes. It isn't really, but it's also a very new theme, so we can find more information. Now, if we look at the basic settings for Aardvark, we can put our course logo, which is important. Now, keep in mind, we are either creating a course that's self-study or it's instructor-led. And in this case, we want to make sure that we include information that allows students to find themselves and find each other easily. In this case, I really recommend incorporating social media because it will allow people to reach out and connect. And if somebody posts something in the discussion board, for example, you can get it, have it automatically trigger an email or a notice in, say, Twitter or a tweet can go out. You can also put Facebook so students can appear on each other's walls. And also in terms of sharing any kind of graphical information, there's Flickr and Pinterest and Instagram. There's that too. And also in terms of any kind of video content, you can share it immediately by using social media. And then Probably, in terms of other things too, files, etc., you might want to include a Google Drive or Google Play. So let's just take a look at what we might do in the course. Say, in a course that has, that's self-study and we're using Aardvark, we want to make sure that we have a very prominent calendar. You want to include the calendar, you might even want to put it close more to the top and also have an organization that includes the social media icons at the top. Now since I haven't added any, there aren't any, but they would be up here when you do add them. So basically in a course that's for either self-study, self-guided, self-paced, where you want to reach out and establish cohort or, or alleviate the sense of isolation, you can do that through social media, or if you have an instructor, then you want to make sure that when the instructor posts something, everybody knows about it, so you want to include social media. So in this case, I recommend Aardvark, and it's a solid, very nice, well-tested theme and it has a lot of options. So in the next section, we will talk about themes that will be used for other types of courses. For example, we'll talk about themes in for use in mobile courses.